in the 90s, from 92 to 94, when I was doing my crime spree, I became what you call a functional crackhead. You know what I'm saying? I'm robbing and stealing to get crack, but I'm also paying my bills and doing everything else. Right. I just accepted it for what it was like, hey, man, I'm a crackhead. I got to, you know, I got to have this and this is what I'm doing. Right. That's what led me to prison. And I understand it. Like everybody, I think that grew up in that era has a family member like that. And it's fucked up because what fuck what fucks me up now is need some help. How much people doing heroin and dope now? How they got all these outlets and all these programs and they trying to help these people. But back in the eighties, when people were smoking crack, like I had family members that I loved that was doing stuff, and we and then we would go to school and they got the dare dog. These people were bad. These people were no good. And I'm like, you know, what I mean, this person ain't no good. I love this person. This person when he sees me, he loves me. But they not labeling the sickness like they are now. But back then it was just like, yo, just lock them up and pull them the fuck away. You know what I'm saying? Well, in in 87, Senator Joe Biden literally had wrote a crime bill that Ronald Reagan, who was the president, was like, man, I'm not signing that. We'll never get any black votes if we sign that. Right. Fast forward to 92 when bill clinton comes in i think around 93 he gets into trouble right here's joe biden again sliding that crime bill up underneath him right and so just what you just said instead of labeling it as a sickness it got labeled as a criminal act right and so when they signed the 94 crime bill right it was the federal level and then the states followed up with theirs. So in California, we have what was called the three strikes law, right? Three strikes and you out, right? It was signed in March, 1994. I committed my crime on August the 25th, 1994. Damn. Right. So we talking like six months after it was signed in the law, you know, I get cracked. I go to jail after a shootout in the furniture store and I'm thinking, you know, okay, I'm going to get five years or whatever. They like, no, nah, you facing seven life turns. I'm like, <laughs> Damn. Are you serious? Seven life terms, right? Now, mind you, I was on a crime spree right. from you 92 got, to 94. You mind elaborating? So, because I want these young kids to hear this shit. You mind elaborating on a crime spree and how serious this shit really is out there? Strike one, strike okay, two, so, strike three. Okay, so <laughs> in, 90, in 84, I had two counts of robbery. That I pled guilty to. So that's one strike, two strike. In 94, I get arrested for attempted robbery and assault with a deadly weapon. That's what I actually pled guilty to. What I got arrested for was two counts of armed robbery and two counts of attempted murder because I'm in a furniture store trying to rob this furniture store. Right. I was on a crime spree with the same gun. And so when I got arrested, the ballistics came in on the gun I had. So what I ended up having was two counts of attempted murder, two counts of kidnap, uh, uh, kidnap robbery, 12 counts of armed robbery, one count of attempted armed robbery, one count of assault with great bodily injury, one count of ex-con with a gun because I'd been in jail in the 80s, right? And then you added in all the enhancements from the three strikes law, and each one of those carried 25 to life apiece. So when, I, when they finally had all of the charges come in, Right. I'm laughing now because I'm looking at y'all faces like, oh, That's hell crazy. no. We did not know he was going to come on and do this kind of interview. <laughs> Yo, That's, that is crazy. Crazy. Listen, well, well, hold continue. on. Listen. So. When all the ballistics came in and I'm facing 20 counts right now, like, man, you 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 looking at seven life terms. I'm like, what are you seeing? You know, and I had a crime at the time, right? So what they did, they came back to me and was like, well, you know, if you tell us who your crime is, you know what I'm saying? We we can break some of this down. Well, they didn't catch my crime. They caught me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, they had videotape. They were showing me the videotape. I'm not telling on my girl. Are you crazy? You know, no, I, I did that by myself. Well, who's this girl with you? I don't know. I don't know who she is. You know, I got caught. I'm going to do the time for this.